guys, welcome back to Bro and Sis Math Club. Today we'll be learning how to calculate the volume of a rectangular prism. So let's go ahead and review the definition of volume and what exactly a rectangular prism is. So volume is how much space a three-dimensional shape occupies and a rectangular prism is a three-dimensional shape. So we'll be learning how to calculate the volume of a rectangular prism. So the basic formula for calculating the volume of a rectangular prism is volume is equal to length times width times height. So here we have our length, which is how long the shape is, our width, which is how wide the shape is, and our height, which is how tall the shape is. So length times width times height. So when we multiply these together, we get our volume. So let's go ahead and say that in this case, our length is equal to 10 centimeters, our width is equal to 3 centimeters, and the height is equal to 5 centimeters. So all we have to do is multiply. So first, let's go ahead and plug this into our formula. So V is equal to 10 times 3 times 5. And remember, it doesn't necessarily have to be in this exact order. It could be 3 times 10 times 5 or 5 times 10 times 3, whatever, because in multiplication, the order doesn't matter because either way, you're getting the same answer. So when we go ahead and multiply, we know that 10 times 3 is 30 times 5 is 150. So you get volume is equal to 150. But remember, you have to keep the unit. So we had centimeter, centimeter, and centimeter. So these all are going to be centimeters, centimeters, and centimeters. So we'll get, we'll get 150 centimeters. And however, the thing in volume is when you get your answer, you have to write your answer and then the unit cubed. And the reason behind that is because you multiply 10, 3, and 5 to get 150, you still have to multiply the centimeters together. So centimeter times centimeter times centimeter, you get each of these is a power of 1. So you get centimeters cubed because remember, if the unit, the base is the same, so in this case, it's centimeter, centimeter, and centimeter, you can add the powers together. So 1 plus 1 plus 1 gives us centimeters cubed. So it doesn't matter. It doesn't only have to be centimeters. It could be inches, millimeters, meters, or whatever unit you're using. So it's going to be the volume of this rectangular prism is 150 centimeters cubed. So that's all there is for this topic. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye.